All right. So in this part, I wanted to talk about something I think is really interesting is that obviously with these display modules, as I showed you before, we can see the waveforms coming directly from Pro Tools, which is really cool. But if you can see the waveforms on the console, it seems obvious that you can do some other things. And we can. So now what I'm going to do is select uh, this channel here. Let's say uh, this guitar channel. And I'm just going to nudge up to that channel. So as you can see, this is the same as my playhead or my selector in Pro Tools. And I've now selected the be beginning of that clip. In fact, let's go into a mode where we can see the uh, waveform a little more easily. I'm going to go into large waveforms here. So now we can see more of the waveform, which I can zoom in and out on down to uh, one second all the way out to one minute. So depending on what kind of project you're on, you might want to have a different zoom value. And the cool thing is you can actually do that while you're playing back as well. But as I was saying, I can see the waveform on the console. So this gives me another option such as, if I choose edit, you'll see that now this waveform has a, a yellow outline around it. And if I choose this screen in here, we can see that also this track has been uh, selected inside of Pro Tools. If I go to the uh, section here, we're in expand at the moment so we can see all of the options. I can, from the console, control my clip gain up and down. And the great thing about controlling clip gain, especially for music, is it adjusts the level before the plugins. So if you're using some really nice uh, analog emulation compressors, you need to get the audio to the right level for those compressors to work properly. So this is a really great place to use clip gain in your session. So we can turn up and down clip gain from the console. But more than that, we can actually do things like do fade in from the console, as we can see there. It's now put a fade in. We can also see it in the Pro Tools window as well. It's put a fade in on the clip. And if we want to, we can also trim the beginning and end of that clip as well. We can see we're moving that in Pro Tools as well. And we can trim the clip as we need to from the console. Now, of course, if you're going to do really complicated editing, you're still going to use the mouse and the keyboard. But this is really powerful, especially when you have multiple people working on the same Pro Tools rig. What's quite unique about this is, for example, the mix engineer under the all key could, in fact, assign all of these encoders to edit and then over to clip gain and have control of every single clip gain right here on an encoder while his assistant or the engineer's assistant I should say uh, is controlling Pro Tools with a mouse and keyboard to do different editing in a different place at the same time so now as I'm playing along we're having this clip gain here gives control over all the tracks of adjusting that clip gain before it gets to my plugin to make it the correct levels. So that's a super powerful way to use waveforms again on the console. Not just for queuing, but also for doing editing and clip gain and other editing features on the waveform. So that's just a quick look at how we can use editing of the waveforms uh, from the console. I'm just going to set these encoders all back to pan as they normally would be.